Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my 300 days world tour in my survival world. Uh, yeah, I have a beacon now. Um, it took me forever to get because I grinded for like hours trying to get all the wither skulls to defeat the wither. And I, uh, I posted a video about me defeating the wither and it was my first time in survival. So I was pretty scared even though I completely destroyed it but um yeah uh i didn't show you guys my like tools last video i only showed you my armor and stuff so uh i'll, I'll show you my tools so um my sword it has it's pretty good uh, that's my silk touch pickaxe my smite axe my uh riptide trident my spoon of power uh, that's my diamond hoe, it, it's pretty good, I guess, and that's my fortune pickaxe, um, and then my bow. Most of this I got recently, but, um, it, 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 like, I didn't get the tools recently, I just, like, maxed them out recently, but, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good, but, um, so I got this. And I got efficiency 5 on both of my pickaxes, so then I could insta-mine things. And, uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you what's new. So, um, over here, I, uh, I made, like, an extra big, like, pumpkin and melon farm. And then there's some sugar cane over there, too, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I, I need a lot of sugar cane for, like, firework rockets and stuff, so... I, that, that's good to have um but then i have a tree farm uh i thought that i would use it a lot more but i obviously don't because you need an afk and i don't necessarily like afk but you can switch between your hand and your axe uh and then you just like go in here and start breaking it but the reason why i don't use it again or another reason i don't use it very much is because it uses like so much bone meal and uh I, that i don't really have bone meal so i i'll probably make like a bone meal farm sometime uh just to make this like worth it because it took me also a long time to make this but um yeah, and then right here, I just built this a little while ago. It's a stone generator, and it's pretty good, especially with my beacon and efficiency 5, if I can get in there. There, look. So you just, like, hold down that. Uh, a lot of it burns in the lava, but some of it gets picked up in the, the hoppers. But, uh, so once we come, like, out of it, then... It, it, it gives us a lot, I guess. I guess you can say. Uh, I don't think I'll ever need, like, that much stone. But, uh, I do use stone in, like, all of my builds. And, like... <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Uh... Oh, and I forgot to show you, but, um... It's day 302. You can see it, like, over in the corner. Uh... It, yeah. I... I it's not exactly day 300, but I guess it didn't really matter. Um, but then what I built literally on day 300 is right over here. It took me forever to get the villagers in, but here's an iron farm. Um, I, I breeded the villagers right here, so it still has a baby. And it's not working entirely because there's like dirt right there. And, uh, and so then the baby doesn't escape. But that's, uh, that's where the zombie pokes its head out. And, uh, <laughs> if we just go right over here, then you can see that the zombie's name is Subdigif27, which, uh, which you should do. Yeah, it'd help out a ton, so thanks. <laughs> um, so if we just go over here a little bit, um, to make the... The tree farm we needed a we need we needed some slime slime blocks and i wasn't just gonna like do a bunch of like killing slimes in the swamp because that would have taken me a long time so 
what we have over here is a uh, if we go down this tunnel then this is where I attempted to make a slime farm um, except I guess slime farms work differently in 1.18 so it did not work not one bit um, this was supposed to be a slime chunk and the video that I watched said to do like three three high and I did that and then lit it up and stuff but nothing happened so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this but um, I might make it like a chest room or something but now if I put on my elytra and we just go over here a bit um, then I will be able to show you something cool not not this even though this does look pretty cool that's not what I was gonna show you it's a uh, well, I guess it's not technically cool what I was going to show you, but if I can remember where it is... Oh, not the village either. But I wish th I knew this was here, because my village is, like, so far away from uh, my house. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. If we just uh, go over here, if I can remember where it is, I think it's, like, in this area. I see it coming into sight. Uh, so here is my swamp that I claimed it's mine, nobody else can have it. Uh, if, if we come over just a little bit more, right here, ah oh yes, right here. This is my slime farm, it's a swamp slime farm. And uh, it works like very bad, it sucks. Because it only works at night, oh my gosh. Oh, I almost just died right there. Um, but it only works at night, but how it works is the slimes, they see the iron golem, and they're like, oh, I, I want to kill the iron golem. So he, like, goes into here, and, like, then just gets killed by the magma. But, uh, <laughs> it's pretty simple, but it, it only works at night. So, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have any slime in it. Usually from AFKing for like a couple of nights, I'll get like a couple stacks, but it's nothing too good. I'll, I'll still link the link the farm in the description below uh, if you guys want to use it like in your own worlds. But uh, now if we head back to my house, ah yeah, the beacon. It looks so cool when you can just see it like from so far away um so how i lit up the area like you can't see any torches or anything so how i lit up the area is uh all these moss carpets everywhere uh i just put torches under them it's like a good way to hide the torches like it looks nice it kind of blends in with the grass a little bit and uh you don't have to like like yeah you don't have to just place this place torches randomly but um this uh zombie is not supposed to be here um so the, the iron farm i'll also link the video to the iron farm in the description below it says that it's supposed to um oh gosh it says that it's supposed to give you 300 iron so uh it, it's broken at the moment but i'm gonna try and fix that and then i'll just like afk around here and uh then I'll get lots and lots of iron because for my next project, I'm gonna need lots of iron. So, uh, yeah, now if we, uh, if you're wondering another reason why I have like the pumpkin and melon farm right here, um, if we just go right over here to this little hole in the mountain, this is my villager hole. Um, <laughs> this, I, I trade the melons with him and like the pumpkins and stuff and it's super op because i get lots of emeralds uh hi um then i have like all of these guys i can i can trade like <laughs> nothing with that guy wait this guy i can trade sticks to him like all that and then like with this guy i can get fortune trade books I can do the trick where you're like, um, can't really show you right now, but, uh, where you have the books, 
and okay. break it and then sell it and stuff. Hmm. I don't know if I'll ever do that, but um, I'm I'm wanting to make like an actual villager trading hall, like with the zombie system and stuff. I I think I'll do that. Maybe by 400 days or something. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. This this like actually there is one more thing. I just wanted to show you that I have with a skull right there. That's an extra one. And then I have a deep like coal ore, and that's like really rare now in 1.18 uh it's their new rarest ore besides that and also deep slate emerald that's also pretty rare but um yeah so here's my storage room again i put some shulker boxes in here just so that i can like if i'm ever on the go and i need a box then i can just grab that i think i'm gonna like make an actual super smelter smelter in here sometime and then I was thinking that I could have like a like an actual huge like chest room because right now I don't have very many chests and they this one's like completely full. That just has random stuff. Same with that. This yeah. Uh so I was thinking that I would just make like a big chest room in here. And yeah. So uh thanks for watching and uh I hope you liked this video. You, you can go check out my other videos, my other 200 days video. But uh, yeah, with that, that is 300 days in survival Minecraft. Uh, I, I'll, I'm gonna go and see how long I can last in this world. And every 100 days I'll do a, a tour. So uh, yeah, just subscribe if you like this and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.